Welcome to the online training, Removing Iron and Manganese from Well Water. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. What are iron and manganese? Iron is a metal that makes up about 5% of the Earth's crust. Manganese is a metal that can resemble iron in appearance. Manganese comprises about 0.1% of the Earth's crust. Both these metals commonly get into groundwater as a naturally occurring substance from area, rock, and soil. A 2009 study of principal aquifers across the United States found iron and manganese in about half the wells sampled. What kind of problems do iron and manganese cause? Iron is not harmful to health, but can affect the taste and appearance of the water. Manganese is an essential nutrient at low doses. Recent studies indicate that there may be adverse health effects linked to cancer caused by overexposure to manganese. Also, children exposed to high concentrations of manganese in groundwater supplied drinking water performed worse on testing of intellectual functioning than children with lower exposure, according to 2010 research. Nevertheless, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has not set a maximum contaminant level for iron and manganese as a human health risk. Rather, the agency has established a secondary maximum contaminant level, or SMCL, for these metals. SMCLs are guidelines to public water systems for when it may be necessary to address aesthetic considerations such as taste, color, and odor. The SMCLs for these metals are 300 micrograms per liter for iron and 50 micrograms per liter for manganese. At the SMCL or above, iron can cause an unpleasant metallic taste, a rusty stain in laundry, toilet bowls, sinks, and other surfaces, At the SMCL or above, manganese can cause an unpleasant metallic taste and black stains in laundry, toilet bowls, sinks, and other surfaces. Question. The US EPA has not designated iron and manganese as presenting a human health risk in drinking water true or false? The answer is true. However, recent studies have indicated one, a possible link of manganese to cancer, and two, children exposed to high concentrations of manganese in groundwater supplied drinking water performed worse on testing of intellectual functioning than children with lower exposure. Here's another question. Regarding iron and manganese, the US EPA has established for when it may be necessary to address aesthetic considerations such as taste, color, and odor. True or false? The answer is true. While these guidelines called secondary maximum contaminant levels or SMCLs are intended for public water systems, private well owners 
can use them as action levels if they choose. The SMCL for iron is 300 micrograms per liter and 50 micrograms per liter for manganese. The well owner has three basic options for reducing problematic iron and manganese. First, explore with a qualified water well system professional the feasibility of retrofitting the well to bypass the metal producing zones. The well owner can also consult a water well professional about construction of a new well that effectively isolates the likely zones of problematic groundwater. And a third option is to install appropriate water treatment technology. The two most common methods for reducing iron and manganese levels in drinking water are first ion exchange. This is a physical chemical process in which ions are exchanged between a solution phase and a solid resin phase. A standard household water softener may effectively remove iron and manganese at concentrations of up to 2 milligrams per liter. Another option is oxidation and filtration. This technology involves the oxidation of iron and manganese into forms which can then be filtered out. Here's a question. When iron exceeds the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's secondary maximum contaminant level of 300 micrograms per liter, it can cause 1. An unpleasant metallic taste. 2. Rusty stains in laundry, toilet bowls, and sinks. 3. A rotten egg odor. 4. Nausea or diarrhea. 5. Answers 1 and 2. And 6. All of the above. The answer is number 5, both 1 and 2, an unpleasant metallic taste, and rusty stains in laundry, toilet bowls, and sinks. Additionally, manganese above the SMCL of 50 micrograms per liter can cause an unpleasant metallic taste and black stains in laundry, toilet bowls, and sinks. Here's another question. Several possible options to problematic iron are to bypass those areas of groundwater via 1. having a new well drilled or 2. retrofitting an existing well to skip water zones of high iron. True or false? The answer is true. Here's yet another question. The two most common methods for reducing iron and manganese levels in drinking water are 1. Reverse osmosis 2. Chlorination 3. Distillation 4. Ion exchange 5. Oxidation and filtration 6. Numbers 1 and 3 and 7 numbers 4 and 5. The answer is 7, numbers 4 and 5, ion exchange and oxidation and filtration. To learn more about the selection and installation of home water treatment systems, contact the Water Quality Association or NSF, the National Sanitation Foundation. These organizations can help with selecting a certified water treatment product and also with selection of a water treatment provider and or certified water treatment professional. Visit www.wellowner.org 
To find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, a private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like What should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What do I do should my well flood? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?